with v cluster you can use the host cluster resources and then you can have your own virtualized cluster so v cluster can be thought of as a virtual machine that you create on the hardware and the server so when you request a server from the cloud vendor and you get a virtual machine you are the owner of that virtual machine and you are able to have a look feel and use that virtual machine as a slice of the particular server similar to that similar concept is of v cluster where v cluster is a slice of the kubernetes cluster so it is a virtual cluster but for that virtual cluster you have the full access and full control what happens is for the base Kubernetes cluster, let's say you have some resources, a cert manager, ingress controller, and you want to use those resources inside the virtual cluster and create them. V cluster helps you do that. So in this video, we'll go through creating a V cluster and then exposing the Nginx application using HTTPS by creating an ingress and cert manager. So let's get started. So I have a Kubernetes AKS cluster. And you can see the node is up and running. I already have vCluster CLI installed. If you want to install vCluster, it's pretty simple and mention in the vCluster docs. I'll put in the link in the description. And for installing AKS, I have just used KSCTL as in my previous video to use KSCTL create cluster for AKS. Very simple. And I'll put the link of that as well in the description. So let's say now that you have a Kubernetes cluster and vCluster installed onto your system. So the next step, is two things that has to be installed. One is the cert manager and two is the Nginx ingress controller. So for cert manager, you go to cert manager installation docs, pretty simple, pretty standard and use the static installation method. I already have copied this command and pasted that in the terminal. So I have kubectl get for type n cert manager. So everything is already installed in cert manager namespace. The next thing that is to be installed is the Nginx ingress controller. For that also, I have used a simple command from the docs where I have installed the Nginx ingress controller. So with that, what we have is kubectl get svc hyphen n ingress Nginx. And we have a ingress Nginx controller as load balancer with this external IP. The next thing that we are going to do is create a config for the v cluster that we want to create for that i already have a config prepared what this means is so we want the control plane ingress enabled we have to give the host and here i have just taken the wildcard kind of thing so you can actually map this to a particular domain and then use that domain so here what it's meant is that uh, we need the ingress to be enabled true and this this is the host and we want to sync that from the to, from the host. So basically, we want to sync what from the host? We want to sync the ingress classes from the host. And we, we want to sync back the ingresses. So we want to sync the ingress classes, whatever is there on the host cluster, is this cluster. And from the virtual cluster, if we create any ingress, that should be syncing back to the host. So we'll be using this particular config file in order to create the virtual cluster. So let's do that v cluster create ingress demo hyphen f config so it has started to create the virtual cluster with the given configuration file on this particular aks host cluster so v cluster has been successfully created and while it was getting created i was just getting the pods from the v cluster ingress demo namespace and you can see the stateful set was coming up the code ENS pod and automatically the context was now switched so that's why it's saying no resources found uh now if you do kubectl get pod type A, we see the core DNS pod running. We see kubectl get ingress class. And it has synced the ingress class from the host cluster. Now, so let's create the workload first. kubectl run nginx hyphen f image nginx. So this runs a simple nginx pod. kubectl expose pod nginx hyphen hyphen port 80. This exposes the pod as the service. So kubectl get pods, kubectl get svc. We get all these things running. Now let's create the ingress. So API version is networking gates, IOV1 and find is ingress. For the annotations, the mandatory one is cert manager, IO cluster, issuer, cube issuer. So I already have created a cube issuer named cluster issuer resource for the certificates to be issued. And for the host, I have given the ingress demo dot the host that 
was provided with the backend to be going to nginx and port 80 and same for the tls so basically what it should do ideally it should sync back to the host it should automatically create a certificate and then it should automatically create a secret and then it should create a challenge like the cert manager should create a challenge it should check if this particular thing is running and then it should get a certificate https tls certificate verified for it and the certificate should be true and we should be able to access uh, the Nginx application with HTTPS. So let's create this. kubectl apply iPhone f ingress. Ingress is created. kubectl get ingress. It's done. So what we'll now do is we'll switch back to the host cluster to see what is happening over there. So first I'll show you the cluster issuer. kubectl get cluster issuer cube issuer iPhone o YAML. And you can see this was the spec that was provided. Email and the server and solvers as the HTTP 01 ingress class Nginx. And that's pretty standard cluster issuer. These are just annotations that can be ignored and the status can be ignored as well. Now kubectl get certificate hyphen A. So it should give me the list of certificates in all of them. And we can see 65 seconds ago, there was a V cluster ingress demo which was created and it is given as ready so now let's go back and check our ingress demo in the ui and here we go we can see the connection is fully secure and we are able to get the https for the nginx application well fantastic so in this particular demo you learned about how to create a virtual cluster using v cluster and then how to use the host resources like cert manager and ingress and then how to create and expose the application using a service and create an ingress getting it synced back to the host and able to create a https service and access that which is running inside the v cluster and using the resources from the host cluster this is what is called fair resource usage so that you have a lot of resources, uh, standard resources which are there on the host cluster, for example, ingress controller, uh, you might have vault, you might have copa, you have cert manager and that is on the platform layer of the host cluster. And then for the virtual clusters, you can just reuse whatever is there on the host cluster. So in this way, you can reuse the components from the host cluster. Let us know in the comments section if you would like to know about some other interesting things inside V cluster or how to do stuff inside V cluster. We'd be happy to create a small short video on that. And yes, subscribe to the channel and make sure to follow a lot for such amazing videos. See you in the next one.